Hey everyone, the name is Victor and I asked you all to suggest one personality type. I would make a video about it. No matter who won, I would make a video about it. And I got a lot of suggestions. INTJ, ISTJ, INTP, ENFP, ISFP. But there was one suggestion that came to stand out the most and that was INFP. INFPs, I think you got more than 10 votes. And honestly, I can see why a lot of this community is... Uh, INFP and a lot of people are interested in INFP personality type, even non-INFPs. I find that a lot of the movie tropes and uh, fiction around INFPs is really interesting and attracts a lot of people. I think it's a very interesting character to build a story around because it's an innocent character. It's not a character that always knows exactly what it's going to do and how it's going to get a true situation. But it is a, a character that is associated with uh, balance and vir virtue and uh, with uh, inner harmony and the concept of harmony and doing what is right even if you will get in trouble for it. So it's one that is explored all the time. And today I want to talk about the inner conflicts of the INFP personality type. Now I want to say, you know, as an INFP, I believe INFPs are led by four cognitive functions. Not one cognitive function, but four cognitive functions that all hold an equal weight in the psyche. Now I'm not talking about extroverted intuition or introverted sensing or about extroverted thinking, but rather I'm talking about introverted feeling introverted intuition and also two other functions that are uh, perceiving in their nature feeling perceiving and intuitive perceiving feeling and perceiving and intuitive perceiving hold equal weight as cognitive functions of their own alongside introverted feeling and introverted intuition and they all do one thing they put the INFP in a flow state together they put the INFP in flow they give pride satisfaction joy excitement over something they help build depth, they help build harmony, they help build honesty and authenticity, and they help build change and variation in the INFP life. Without one of these, the INFP will feel like they lack something, like something is missing. And that will be an inner conflict. And today's video is for exploring these inner conflicts. The problem is, while all of these functions provide a positive experience to the INFP and help the INFP find balance and energy and motivation. Some will give more motivation than others. Some will give more pride than others. Some will give more satisfaction than others. So different INFPs will go for different values within the INFP psyche. And that's why I've talked so much about subtypes. So what I've found is uh, there are four subtype variations of the INFP. We have the rebel, the catalyst, the intuitive perceiving subtype INFP. We have the artist, the muse, the feeling perceiving subtype INFP. We have the sage, the thinker, the dreamer, the introverted intuitive subtype INFP. And perhaps the most explored, we have the INFP innocent or INFP utopian, the INFP introverted feeling style INFP. Now, the feeling introvert, the introverted feeling subtype INFP is characterized by one thing, you know, one dominant priority every day, one priority that exceeds and is held above all others. And that is the quest for balance and inner peace, you know. The pursuit of self-understanding and introspection. What can this mean? It can mean, you know, avoiding change because you don't know how it will fit with your life. Because of fear that what if change will mess up my inner balance? What if it will end up going against who I am? What if I won't like it? What if it doesn't fit with my values? The introverted feeling subtype INFP holds their values above their intuition. So they lead with discernment. Their dominant priority is, is this good or is this bad? Is this going to bring me balance? Is this going to bring me peace of mind? Or is this going to upset me or change me up? So what you find with this type is this is the sensitive type, the most sensitive style INFP, because this one is the one that is the most guarded and the most fixated on maintaining balance in their own life. And that means avoiding change and variation sometimes important change and variation 
But it also means another thing, and that means living a line, life in tune with one's values. Making sure that you are doing something that fits with who you are and what you want in life. Making sure that you make decisions that will bring you a positive life, a happy life, a good life. It means the quest for peace of mind is held above the quest for excitement or joy or pleasure. And that means um, while the INFP can take pleasure in change and variation, they prefer to have peace of mind. They prefer to make sure that their inner values are held intact and that their moral compass is not threatened by anything. The INFP introverted feeling subtype can be held against the feeling perceiving subtype. The feeling perceiving subtype is primarily oriented by the quest for authenticity and that means speaking out for oneself, being honest, even if it might bring discomfort or conflict with other people, holding up your values and expressing them and sharing your judgment with other people, letting other people know what you think, what you feel, what you want, what you think is right and wrong, even if it might spark tension and disagreement with other people. So the INFP feeling perceiving subtype, the reporter subtype, will put out and express themselves to other people, will say this is what I want, this is right, this is bad, this is good, this is wrong, this, is, this should be different, I don't like this, but I like that. This is the INFP that will share with you constantly their judgment and give you feedback on your decisions and on your life and on your experiences. They will share when they are happy or when they're sad or when they're upset with you or when they're not upset with you. Because they believe it has to do with honesty and authenticity and self-expression. To not say these things means to deny who you are, you know, to pretend to be something you're not, to be fake, to be a fraud. And that's this thing that the INFP feeling perceiving subtype can never accept, you know, to be a fraud, to uh, hold back what you know is true and to not speak out when you see something that is wrong in society. The introverted feeling subtype is predominantly oriented towards innocence, to not have done anything wrong, to not have said anything that will hurt anyone, to not have done anything that will shake the world and the balance in the world. The feeling perceiving subtype is not as afraid of this. The feeling perceiving subtype is prepared to do these things because they believe it will help adjust and implement their values in the world. Correcting wrongs and problems in society or in the system or in the tribe. The feeling perceiving subtype can be contrasted against the rebel subtype, the intuitive perceiving subtype. Now the intuitive perceiving subtype, that's a character motivated by the quest for variation and change, new ideas, options, possibilities. For an INFP NP subtype, it is all about what one could do or what one could not do. Different options laid before you, different steps you could take. It's all about anticipation of the immediate abstract emerging possibilities. It's all about intercepting what is happening, staying ahead of changes in your environment, knowing how the room is going to move, staying on track, you know, keeping up with and juggling different ideas at the same time, multitasking, seeing how to connect different things, how to put things together, seeing how things add up, brainstorming, cross-contextualizing. This is the joy-seeking INFP, the variation-seeking INFP. They are filled with that joy of this could we do, we could do that, this, we could try that, we could experiment on that. And so what you see here is an INFP that strongly works against stagnation and control. This is the INFP that resists control. This is the rebel, the one that goes against the flow and what path, path life has laid out before them. When society says go this way, the INFP NP is strongly going to prioritize their own freedom and independence and their right to rebel and question and suggest alternatives. They're never just going to go along with something. They're always going to have a different take on it, a different idea. Now, compare this to the introverted intuitive subtype and you see a sage, 
a thinker, a dreamer. This is the INFP that lives in this abstract inner reality that is all their own, you know. Uh, stars, maps laid out before them. They see everything that could happen, everything that could be, everything that could come to happen. They envision or build up ideas of something, future lives, future relationships, future possibilities. It's all abstract. Nothing has happened in the real world. It has nothing to do with the real world. It is just a private space. And this quest for privacy and keeping this private space intact and maintaining one's dreams and maintaining belief in one's dreams and giving priority to one's dreams, that's the introverted intuitive subtype, you know. Maintaining a space where one can imagine and envision and getting rid of things that might threaten this vision or might go against it. This INFP is... Uh, Primarily seeking satisfaction, you know, having a life that overlaps with the dreams and ideas that they hold before them, you know, just wanting to maintain belief in that dream and wanting to make sure you stay on course towards that dream to make sure that dream is going to become a reality. Never giving up on it, you know, never uh, letting anybody call it impossible, never letting anyone say it's not going to happen, never letting the world get in the way or say, no, but you have to do this, you know. So the INFP NI subtype wants to keep their dream intact, wants to keep staying ahead of their dream and to keep working towards it. So what you find is the NI subtype is going to avoid changes and alternate courses they might think that new ideas and new options might threaten the foundation of their ideas and what they see they're afraid to change on or rework or rethink or find a different approach to something that they have already gotten firmly in their head they're afraid of their dream being shaken up they're also afraid of uh, becoming too convenient Becoming too attached to the day-to-day -day harmony or balance that you might have. So they are constantly trying to improve or perfect their idea. And their idea is often perfectionistic in its nature. It's an impossible abstract example. It's something that uh, is perfect in one's head but never is perfect in reality. Something that has a lot of issues and flaws in reality but is and matters and feels very right and very correct and very true in one's head. So knowing this, this is the INFP NI subtype and it stands against the INFP FI subtype, the INFP FP subtype and INFP NP subtype. Beyond this, I've also talked about INFPs having differences in states and emotional states. The INFP can be in flow tapping on their flow functions, doing things they love and enjoy, or they might go deeper into inferior functions and functions that threaten their personality and their core values. In times of stress and anxiety, you might find as an INFP that you transform from the sensitive and balance-oriented and diverse INFP into one that is a little more like an ESTJ, You'll find that you become more competitive, more like a steamroller, more intense. You'll find that you'll become um, more demanding, more attention-seeking. You might find that in times of growth that you take on briefly the qualities of extroverted intuition or extroverted feeling. You know, in those good times, in those good days when you really dare to be uh, brave and to try new things. That's when you start appearing a little more like an ENFJ. But you'll also go through those moments of stagnation and autopilot where you simply just move through life, life appearing bleak and boring and pointless. And those are the days you will appear the most like an ISTP personality type. So with all that said in mind, what you have to work towards is balance inside of yourself and also nurturing a flow. You might want to stay ahead of stressors and anxiety factors and things that might make you less assertive and less and more prone to doubt and uncertainty. You might want to make sure that your quest for honesty and authenticity stays 
true and in balance with your need for inner harmony or inner peace or for change and variation and trying out new things. You might w notice that sometimes you become so attached to being honest that you're afraid of trying new things and challenging your own identity and seeing who you could become. You might find that in other times you need to get a little bit out of yourself in your own head. You know, you might find yourself in need to learn something new or to try on a new skill or to be a little more vulnerable. You know, you can't only hide your emotions and keep them to yourself. You can't live in a world of dreams all alone all the time. There are times that will happen where you will need to find opportunities, times when you need to speak out for what you care about, times where you will need to show kindness to other people and welcome other people and help other people, realizing that their quest and your quest must come in harmony with one another. And there will come times when you need to embark on a bigger, broader vision, something that's a little more far-reaching and long-term than the normal chase of possible recurring changes and options. Times when instead of multitasking, you need to really sit down and focus and take your time with something and see where it leads you. And uh, when you can figure out that equation, you will have happiness as an INFP, you will have flow, you will have balance, a life free from stress. Or when stress and anxiety exists, but you will always know that you're able to respond to it and deal with it as it comes up. So that's INFP subtypes, that's INFP inner conflicts. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.